have you ever sent photographer to my mansion? Sergei says that he saw somebody trying to take picture of him in speedo trunks. I said to Sergei, who wants to see you like that? Is not not pretty sad. <laughs> Well, I have to be honest, we did send somebody and we did catch Sergey in his trunks and it was simply too disgusting to print in a family newspaper. Don't so print, don't I, print. I had to, I had to uh, not publish those pictures, sorry. Although we used to employ funny little people um, who would go and uh, rifle in people's rubbish bins instead. That was much more fun. Really? To find what? Rubbish? You'd be amazed what people put in their bins. Yeah, it was always very interesting. Mm. Celebrity beans. Big mm. show. It is a big show, actually. We should do that. It could be. Has America got rubbish? Yes, yeah, I like mm. it. This know? could be really good, actually. It could work. <laughs> yeah, I like it. What the stars throw away. Exactly. You like it? It's, I love it. Sergey mm. is working on Peyton now. Sergey, how's it going? Yes, it belongs to us. Okay, fair enough. So, don't try to make that show. Otherwise, you wake up with Sergey in your bed. <laughs> Not nice. After editorship, you hit the big time as judge on hit television show, Does Britain Have the Talent? Yes. Do you enjoy this? I love it. It's brilliant to see all these wonderfully talented people coming and trying their luck. But really, I think we all enjoy the ones who like fall over, sing bad, burst into flames, start crying. <laughs> that, can, that is what we really like. Yeah, let's be honest. It is what we like. To it? be it's honest, funny. they're the ones. It's nothing like a good dosing of delusion. I think. Out of Britain does have the talent and America has the talent also, do you think there's possibility for Russia has got the talents? I'm not so sure, Alexander. I mean, there aren't exactly many household names from there's Russia, many are things. there? There are so many things the Russian could do. They could uh, fight bear. Yeah, but it's not really catchy as a talent. Swim naked in frozen lake. Yeah, that's what you do. You love doing stuff like that. Give wolf mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. <laughs> This is a Actually, great, that's, great Russian that would, skills. That, Alexander, you come on Britain's Got Talent and you give a wolf mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, I guarantee you get to the final. Yeah, Susan Boyle, forget. She's not, <laughs> people don't want to see her no more. They go, get the little guy who gets the wolf. <laughs> It say here that you're a very large fan of cricket. I, I am. am also a large fan too. I like to eat them fresh and crunchy. How are you like your cricket? No, you're completely barking up the wrong tree. Barking up the wrong tree is another Russian talent. We in can fact, do that. The, I've seen people the, do in street. You're actually in the wrong forest here, Alexander. Explain. It's a game. Yeah. Okay. It's so, a very complicated game. Explain rule for me, please. In like, you know, two minutes. Okay. Um, 11 people on each side. One goes in, the other one goes out. Then one goes out, the other one comes in. Then one goes in and comes out. The other one comes out and comes in. And when that's all over after five days, <laughs> it's normally a draw. Cockroaches in my face. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Pierce, but I think my cricket is win. Now, I'm just look at your website on my computer, my Bob. From one business cut to another, I give you some tips. <clears throat> It feel a little bland. A little bland? Hmm. But it's Maybe. got lots of pictures of me on it. How can it be bland? Yeah, Take I a know. tip. Tip from the master. Maybe <laughs> you would like Sergey to do your web page makeover. You know, a few meerkat here, a little comparing there, and hey presto! You will soon have second most handsome website on the internet. But I already have a very handsome website, Alexander. It has lots of pictures of me on it. Oh, crickets are here. Mm. Nom, 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 nom. Now, web page also is saying that you have made successful travel series. You have done Pierce Morgan on Dubai, Pierce Morgan on Monte Carlo. Would you also like make episode Pierce Morgan on an inflatable mattress in Alexander Mansion? Well, I would. In fact, I am planning to do that. But there was a recent internet poll that said the most popular place that people would like me to go would be a show entitled Pierce Morgan on Fire which I thought was a little unfair. Um, but if that doesn't come off, then I'm going to go to Moscow. Yeah, I am actually going to go there. Uh, listen, I would watch Pierce Morgan on fire. I think <laughs> it's a good show. So do I. Yeah. Maybe I could be the one who puts you on fire. You know, I can be ratings magnet for you. Yeah, I'm not really sure that this is right, though, Alexander. I think you think you're a magnet. I'm not sure you actually are. When I spoke to some ladies in Hollywood, they'd never heard of you. <laughs> listen, ladies in Hollywood have not heard of a lot of things. <laughs> You watch. Next James Bond movie, there will be Meerkat Buddy, superhero villain. Actually, I've always wanted to be a, a Bond villain, funnily enough, rather than Bond. 
I'd love to be that guy that at the just just at the final bit says not so fast, Mr. Bond. But it strikes me you've got the perfect voice. So I may have to nick your voice and be the Bond villain. I'd like that. Not so fast, Mr. Bond. It's a thirty miles on. You're doing thirty-five <laughs> with your gadget car. <laughs> now speaking of mode of transport, okay. Sergey, mm. tell me that you are full of a Segway. Well, funny enough, the, the manufacturers said only an idiot could fall off one of these. And the only two people to have fallen off are me and George Bush. So I guess they were right. Yep, you can't sue them for that. <laughs> bloody Not bloody painful, though. I broke, I broke five ribs and collapsed a lung. Ooh, how fast are you going? 12 miles an hour. Boy, speed cap. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> You know, when you feel the need, the yeah. need for speed, Alexander. 12 miles an hour, you I must was, have just... I was, <laughs> I was ripping up that promenade in Santa Monica. Yeah, ripping it up like me with my tax bill. <laughs> anyway, I'm currently writing the history of my family, the Orlov family. I mm. notice here that you two have written several mighty literary works, including <laughs> To Dream a Dream, The Amazing Life of Philip Schofield. <laughs> How is it selling? Uh, I'm not sure that there are, it's ripping up the Amazon Top 100, put it that way. I think it's had its, had its best day. You know, I find way. that hard to believe. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. Hang on. I think Philip Schofield is right up there with the great icons of the last century. Mandela, JFK, Diana. Schofield. It's got a ring, hasn't it? It's got a ring, yeah. It's got a ring of something. <laughs> now, speaking of heroic lives, I have just starred in my second 60-second epic movie film. Would you like to know what is title? Yes, I would. Sergey, drum roll, please. The Battle of Fearlessness. <laughs> it is tale of my heroic great-great-granddaddy Vitaly and how his small meerkat battalion defeats the whole horde of mongooses fearlessnessly. Are you thrilled? Massively. It's uh, up there with uh, Avatar and uh, all the other movie, Alice from Wonderland, all those. You should is see it in, is next it in, time you get is chance. Is it in 3D? No, it's on TV. I like it, Alexander. This is a good movie. I want to see this. And you know why I have to make this film? Because people are still seeing that I provide cheap car insurance and not compare meerkats. So I'm explaining the difference for them. Anyway, has anyone ever confused you with someone else? Uh, I often get mistaken, in, especially in Hollywood, for George Clooney. Ah! What are you laughing at? I was something Sergei said. <laughs> not at you. <laughs> really? George Clooney? Yeah, happens all the time. Mm. So, like George Clooney, have you ever want to be a big film actor? Yes, I have. I, I've, I've always wanted to be an actor. That's why I'm out here, really. What are you being? Romantic lead? Um, juvenile? Female? Uh, stunt action hero guy? What would you be? Uh, I, often... I think you would make very good evil villain. Because, yeah. one, evil voice. Two... Evil past. Three, mm. evil attitude. Like in, you know, when you're a judge, you say, you're no good, you're rubbish. Mm. I'd like to be one of those villains where I could take my judging comments and use them to kill people. So you'd say, you are not, I'm going to borrow your voice again. You are not it through sound like me. to the next round. And they get killed. It'd be good, wouldn't it? Bang, dead. Funnily enough, we talk of bad guys. I'm looking for a nemesis for my character, Nightcat. <laughs> And his assistant, Hofkat. Wow! <laughs> they are crime fighting duo. You could be evil Dr. Morgan, master of impersonation and disguise. I like it. Yeah, it would be a big film. It'd be massive. We might just paint you blue to be on the safe side. <laughs> and make you fly. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. Wrinkle, wrinkle you your say, winkle, Mr. Bond. Anyway, on the rather wrinkly note, it's time to say thank you, Mr. Piers Morgan, not Brosnan. Thank you, Piers Morgan, for coming and share your wisdom. Let the lesson be. Know the difference. Whether it's Piers Morgan or Piers Brosnan. Meerkat or market. Know the difference! <laughs> thank you, Mr. <laughs> Piers. Thank you, Mr. Olof. And thank you, loyal listeners. Tune in next time for another exciting edition of Mirchat. I have been Alexander Orlov. Goodbye. Sergey, 
Listen, have you already sent check to Pierce Brusnan? Ah! Oh. Right, that comes from your wages. 